Traders, I had a great day today and I'm going to finish right here. As you can see here, I'm up $22,000, a little bit more, actually 23 with my open trades. And um, I had uh, four different symbols to trade today, actually five trades, two of them in CRM. CRM finished up in green, although it started in red. Uh, nice an amazing trade in Boeing, SPWR and Microsoft. So all four symbols are in uh, green. Let's take a look at uh, what happened today. And I want to start with CRM because in fact, when I started trading today, I had a great trade in Boeing and in SPWR, but CRM in fact took me down and I was, uh, I was close to, you know, I was still in green, but uh, I had a big loser in CRM. So I want to talk about CRM. I mentioned today that CRM is going to be a big winner for me. I was wrong, really. I trusted it to move higher. I was wrong. It started with a gap down and moved down. Why? I have no idea. But the fact is, I took a second trade in CRM, which moved me to green territory because I still trusted it to move higher. It is trending higher right now, as you can see. So the first trade went wrong. I went long somewhere over here, came down, stopped me. And of course, I should have been out because it continued to come down. I had no idea it's going to change direction. It did change direction. The reason I was quite sure it's going to change direction is because of the daily. Now, take a look here at the daily of CRM. Yesterday, it had a huge upside day yesterday. And usually, when you have such a big upside day, there may be some profit taking at the beginning of the trading session, but usually it will continue and become green and a very green. I mean, usually you expect some kind of a momentum day on the second day, which did not happen. Well, initially it came down, but then it come, came back to its senses and trying to move higher now. So again, I trusted to move higher. Initially I was wrong. Second trade I was right. Added as it was moving higher. Twice added as it was moving higher. Uh, first trade long 266, 267, 268. All of them worked out fine. And um, I'm still open just with 100 shares. So CRM finally um, moved back to green territory, uh, which helped me, of course, uh, you know, with the rest of my green trades. And uh, let's just quickly go through the other. Boeing was a very clear long trade. As you can see here, it started with a gap up, moved up. We waited for a pullback. It did come. We went long over here, 177.80. Just before it moves to a new high, you always have to take it Usually you need to take it before it moves to a new high because you don't want to compete with the crowd. You want to be before them. You want to uh, you want to anticipate the new high. You don't want to do it uh, before you, you want to do it before it moves to a new high. And of course, since it's going uh, with the airlines, take a look for example at AAL and the other. You can see that at the same time they move to a new high. So Boeing is likely to follow. Watch the airlines when you're trading Boeing. It's very very important to watch some airlines when you're trading Boeing in order to get some understanding of what's going on in the airline industry. And then uh, Boeing, which is relatively a bigger mover, should be a, a more interesting trade than the rest of the airlines. So Boeing was a nice winner. I'm out of Boeing because it just failed later. So we're out as it was starting to trend lower. Uh, it just became... Uh, it's not interesting anymore as it was. Uh, we also had the SPWR, which is kind of boring. I'm not going to get into it. It's a very clear gap and go trade. Uh, the nice one was Microsoft. Microsoft had some intraday rumor spike up today regarding the TikTok idea. Um, and as you can see, starting here, it came up with a lot of volume. Look at the volume here. So it's it, it moved up. The way to join a trade like that is to wait for a pullback and go long. It, since it's already moved up too much, I didn't think it was a good idea to go long over here. And I'm glad we didn't. We let it come down. It came up again. There was a nice whole number here. We usually try to buy over whole numbers. Nice 22, uh, 228. And we wanted to go long over 228 and we waited and there was a small pullback, which is kind of nice. And then it returned to the 228, proving to us that it wants to continue higher. It's a nice resistance point. And once it came through the 228, we had a nice trade here. And that was a beautiful, beautiful move here. That was a three point move. Um, of course, I took my partial before that. But anyway, uh, Microsoft became one more winner. So I've got uh, four symbols, um, 
five trades. Four of them are green trades. One, the initial one in CRM red, but I'm going to finish up to $22,000. And to tell you what, um, well, it's the first day I'm not really struggling. Really, the first day I'm not really struggling for the past several days. I mean, my last trade forward day was last Friday. This week, till now, I'm struggling. I had a green day on Monday. I was up $11,000, but that was a struggle. And then came uh, Tuesday, which I was down. Wednesday, yesterday, somehow managed to finish in green territory due to Tesla up like $800, but I was down most of the day. And finally today, quite a straightforward day, which gives me some kind of a internal mental boost, uh, which I really needed. I really needed this day. So four symbols all in green. That's a perfect uh, comeback for me. So I feel a little bit better now and I'll see you all tomorrow. So just enjoy the rest of your day. There were some pretty good trades here, not just by me, uh, Scott and uh, Yogi and other. And we really did enjoy. I did really enjoy this day. I hope you guys did too. If you're on YouTube and you're following us, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would be appreciated. Thank you all. See you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free welcome course. It was designed to teach you the basics of Wall Street trading. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.